So that's the new kettle. <laughs> um, yeah, it was on offer, and the wife had been sort of wanting one, so yeah, I thought I'd get one. Uh, real time, it's about 35 to 40 seconds for a cup. And it's, it varies, of course, cup size, and you know, you can't vary the cup size, so and they're not 100% the same amount every single time, but you know, it's a good way to get a single cup. You still need a kettle uh, for cooking, and um, you know, say, like you had a group of people around and you're making everybody a drink, so I think it's not much good, it's probably going to cost you more money then. So, um but yeah, it's, it's not bad otherwise. So, I've had what? I think I've had about three videos up this uh, last week, something like that. All sort of like related to each other in so much as they're like little short adapters uh, for different jobs. Like one was from Inertech. Uh, superb build quality on that. Um, and if you've got a, something like a MacBook Air or something like that, then I'd definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, nice bit of kit. Um, other than that, not a great deal going on. I've uh, got plenty more videos to do actually. I've got bits and pieces in. I think I've got, what have I got right now? I've got that one, two, three. Uh, four, five. I've got about six videos lined up to do. And I think I've got another product coming from Inertech as well. So, yeah. Uh, quite busy on the tech channel actually. It's the busiest it's ever been for me anyway. So, uh, but you know, I enjoy doing it. It's just when I find the time to do it, you know. Uh, life's busy, so I've got everything sort of. I haven't actually prepared the food yet, but I've got all like my pans out and everything at the minute ready for uh, putting some pork in the dinner in the oven. Uh, I've got about an hour before I need to put that in, but I've got everything out ready and. So I made sure I got everything, that's what I like to do. You know, I like to be sort of prepared. And I think I've got everything. Uh, I was making sure more than anything else that I had all the stuff that I needed to do it. So I have, so I don't think I need to pop into Driffield, although I will have to later on. I've got one trip down there. Um, other than that, uh, got a fairly okay day. Yesterday was gorgeous. Uh, apart from the wind could get a little bit of a chill in it every now and then. Uh, today is basically looks like I'm going to chuck it down any minute. But it's not like super cold, but it's a bit chilly when you get the wind on you. But uh, yeah, so it's um, busy times. Been busy as hell at work. Uh, Friday, I got a bit of a raw deal. It's you should never do it on a Friday really. I had a run into Hull um, in the afternoon and now remember normally you can go to Hull and back in a little over an hour. So yeah, uh, it's sort of ill advised. Oh, it's just starting to rain now. Mm. So yeah, uh, but of course on a Friday afternoon everybody finishes work early. So uh, basically we'd hide out of van because we had like a, a hell of a lot. It was uh, one of the uh, bigger vans, uh, was it height? It was the higher top anyway in the longer wheelbase. Uh, and I had it pretty much full. And I started at one side of the hull, went to the other. And you can normally do that in about sort of hour and a half. Um, but as road works, they've been gritting roads around the area and it's just chaos. It was just, in parts, it was bumper to bumper, even on, you know, like a fairly sort of like normal dual carriageway. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't get home till I can't remember what time it was, but uh, I was back later than work would normally finish, sort of thing, you know. And then, of course, I had to take the, I had to go and put some fuel in the higher van and take it back. So. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a fun day out, but yeah, we'd been sort of rushing to get things finished because it was sort of like you get a job started, but then another part of it can't be done because you're waiting for the stock or something like that. But we eventually got everything in, and then it just meant that I had to rush. 
and I had a day and a half to stood on my feet in one place, uh, basically folding wire. Um, so my thumbs and fingers were in my wrists and everything were really sore. Um, and with standing all in one place as well, it was very sore walking. <laughs> so I looked like an absolute mess. Uh, you know, I was sort of like walking around really gently and. You know, um, every time you touch, if you touch something like, you know, like when you grab a hot cup or something like that, because you've already got like these pressure soreness in your thumbs and what have you, the cup felt like it was absolutely burning out. It's like somebody just taking matches to your fingers or something. So, yeah, it's uh, been quite a, a week actually. Uh, it shouldn't be quite as bad. I've got week after next off, and that's more to do with. Um, uh, needing somebody at home with a car and some days I'll be doing some of the wife's care because she's got some carers off work and what have you so I'll be uh, taking up the slack there so you know you can take a week off for holiday and end up working <laughs> it's the usual way if you're not married wait until you are you'll understand so um, but yeah it's uh, no, everything's okay at the minute. Uh, I've seen my dad. My dad's just been going through a really bad patch, although he seems to get slightly better now. My mother went away, and it sort of makes him a lot worse in the head. Uh, that washing machine is about to get rather noisy, though, the sounds of things. Um, so, yeah, it's, he's sort of like voices in the head and stuff like that. Um, so he's had a bit of a downhill slip, um, but you know he's he's not so bad now. He's, he's sort of picked back up a little bit uh, since my mum came back off her break. She needs a break every now and then, bless her. I mean, you know, when you're coming up seventy years old, uh, you know you just you just don't need it. Uh, so yeah, but uh, anyway, you know. Get off and come back when things aren't quite as uh, noisy and busy. A little quieter now. Because um, the wife's gone to sleep. Um, no, it's because um, the machines are off and actually as it happens, she's asleep now. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, the pork's been in about just over an hour now. It's quite a big piece, it's going to take a bit longer yet. It's probably going to take at least another half an hour sort of thing but um, what was funny was uh, after so long the kitchen started to stink of uh, cake and I'm thinking what and I realised someone baked a co chocolate cake this morning <laughs> <laughs> so that's why uh, it started smelling a cake from the oven so obviously a bit of the mix must have been um, you know uh, spilled on the floor of the oven or something like that so but it's all right anyway uh, it stopped now so it must have burnt it all off so anyway I've got everything ready I'm gonna have uh, just I'm gonna have some roast parsnips uh, this week as well oh they smell lovely you know you've got good parsnips when you can smell them through the plastic nice and strong I love I love parsnips uh, so yeah I'm gonna have some roast parsnips as well the sun came out a bit earlier as well, sort of came out and then, then it tried to rain, so we had a bit of rain try and uh, then it's dried up again and the sun came out again and then it's just gone cloudy and muggy again now, so can't make up its mind what it wants to do. So uh, I'm having some uh, Mr. Grumpy Cider at the minute. <laughs> that was the mug that I got last week uh, as one of my Father's Day gifts along with uh, some bottles of cider. So, uh, what are you after, Fred? They've all had their bit of carrot from when I was prepping the veg. They love their carrot and it's supposed to be good for their teeth, so hopefully it is. Um, Pepper, she costas on her teeth. I don't know if I said that in the last vlog or not. Or whether I'd mentioned that she was going in, I can't remember, but she's been and had her um, teeth done anyway. So her little kisses smell much sweeter now. Uh, and she did have a, um, an abscess under the eye, 
which uh, that's all cleared up now. She was started on antibiotics before the uh, the operation. So yeah, she's a she's a much happier dog now. Obviously in less pain. Uh, the next thing is to think is the cat's going to have to go in. Um, he's got a little bit of a limp, so we're going to have to book him into the vets. Um, but I think, to be honest, I think it's just gonna, we're just going to go away with possibly some painkillers, or they might just tell us to put a bit of uh, cod liver oil in his food or something like that, because uh, I think it's just going to turn out to be arthritis. I mean, he's, he's only a year younger than our oldest dog. Uh, he's, what, 16, 17? You know, so he's getting on. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but other than that, everything seems to be going pretty much tickety-boo at the minute. Uh, so I've got, I was thinking about going and doing another video, but I don't know if I'm going to get time. Oh, excuse me, guys. Um, yeah, I've got, uh, like I say, I've got another three products from Zizu. And I've got, uh, oh, I've just had another product come in from uh, M, not MPO, uh, ULAC. They've sent me another product, which you'll either love it or hate it. <laughs> That'll give you a clue. Um, and what else? Although it's already spoken for, I think my uh, one of my daughters wants it. What else I've got? Uh, I've still got those two um, pairs of headphones to do a review for, which um, the big ones I've literally just put them on charge actually, and um, uh, they've, they've done really well. Uh, I just put them on charge a few minutes ago. I'm just keeping an eye on the tank, so I want to see how long it takes to actually charge them. Uh, but they've. Uh, They've excelled really, they've done me about between 8 and 10 hours and I remember that's like turning it on and off and that's a mixture of music and listening to um, um, videos and stuff like that. As you know, as you most of you know, I am an avid YouTube fan. It's better than TV anyway. Um, and like I say, I've had between 8 and 10 hours out of them, which is pretty good for a big set of headphones like that. Um, Really, really pleased with them. Uh, very clear across the range. It's uh, it's really, really clear and crisp um, sounds you get from it. Uh, it doesn't matter what you're listening to. And obviously, I mean, Bluetooth headphones these days they tend to be very they're sort of like limited at the upper end, so that you can't sort of. It's very difficult to get the um, especially the bass to. Um, you know, to distort the sound, it's very difficult to do that on a on your modern sort of like headphones and that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm actually really pleased with them at the minute. They're they're doing fantastically. Uh, what else? Oh, I'll tell you what. I started watching last night. Uh, we we sort of like played a bit of catch up. We recorded a few, uh, and we just I think we've got two more to watch before we actually hit into what's going out live at the minute on Sky. I can't remember what channel it's on now, um, but it's oh, what's it called? I know I've been watching that um, Banshee. That's 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 good. Pretty pretty hardcore stuff. I mean, it's just full of sex and gratuitous violence, like, but uh, it's pretty good. Uh, what is it? I've been watching. Uh, oh, oh, what is it called? Something? Is it something? Paradise? No, something Palms. I can't remember now, it's, it's like a town, it's all set in like a, it, it sort of came across to me a bit like The Prisoner, I don't know if any, any of you ever watched that, I mean it's getting on a bit now, is that program, it had Patrick McGoon in, it's, uh, it goes back to like late 60s, 70s I think, and it's called The Prisoner, and you never actually found out why he was imprisoned, really, um, you know, he was like, worked for the government and sort of got drugged and woke up on what was actually meant to be an island, but obviously it wasn't, it was actually filmed at uh, Port Marion in uh, Wales. Um, so it was, it's a little bit like that, and it's just like this town that's got a huge electrified wall around it. And I don't want to give too much away, because uh, I don't want to spoil it for anybody. Um, and it starts off 
a bit slow and you're just constantly thinking why has he been in prison there why has he been held there and it, it's not really it's more like you get on with your life there but it's the life is controlled by them sort of thing and it's you've got to watch a, a few episodes and suddenly it gets really freaky <laughs> I won't tell you why or anything so it's a, yeah it's, it's sort of intriguing so I've got, I've got a two more um, I mean I sat up till about 3am last night um, catching up on them all like uh, and I think I've got about two episodes left to watch and then um, then we're going to uh, get into the, like the live stuff so then it's I think we because we record a fair bit of stuff I think it actually goes out on a Thursday night or something like that but we we'll be recording it on the Saturday, very early Saturday morning, about 2 a.m. Saturday morning is when we'll be recording it because uh, we, we do have a lot of other stuff that we sort of watch and whatever you, you know, we've got Banshee and we watch um, Criminal Minds and all that sort of stuff, so, but yeah, it's uh, it's really good, it's, oh, I just can't remember, no, Summit Pines, that's it, Summit Pines it's called, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's worth a look if you like the freaky stuff. But yeah, you have to watch two or three episodes and you think, wow, this is getting really freaky. Uh, so yeah, but uh, it's still a bit, you know, it's still all under wraps, you don't really... So yeah, I can sort of recommend that to those who are sort of like, you know, if you don't mind sort of stuff that you can just sit and watch and let it wash over you, you know, I mean, you don't have to, you know, you can take it all with a pinch of salt sort of thing. What? Somebody wants in on the vlog, don't they? What's up, Pepper? What's up, my baby girl? You're going to show us them pearlies? You're going to show them them pearlies? Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. Let's have a look. Oh, look how white them bad boys are. <laughs> yeah, she had uh, seven out in the end. Didn't you, girl? Seven out. She was feeling a bit crappy for a day or so, but uh, she's a lot happier now, aren't you? Yes, I know. <laughs> so yeah, she's a she's a much happier dog. It's, it's not time for your tea yet. You've got a bit longer. So uh, yeah, I'll catch up in a bit anyway, guys. So there you go, guys. That's uh, my day done. Uh, I've had my tea. Just uh, on my way back home now from my final jaunt out. Oh, I've got to go uh, tomorrow night after work. Been on, uh, you know, on one of these like um, you know, these things that are set up on Facebook, don't they? Um, stuff in your local area for sale or for free, and we have one of those uh, stuff stuff for sale or for free in Driffield. And it's just for like Driffield and the surrounding area, and um, we've, uh, we needed uh, another bed for the front room upstairs because the one we've got is a three-quarter steel frame, and you know, you're getting all the mattresses for them, they're like bloody chicken's teeth. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we don't want to pay full price because it just doesn't get used that much. You know, it's few nights here and there a year sort of thing when we have people around um, and we are having the wife's some of the wife's family over uh, towards the end of next month so uh, we've arranged for one but it's a, it's a bloody it's one of those split divans it's a double and we haven't got a van at the minute so it's going to be a uh, three runs in my car <laughs> between uh, Cranswick and Nathan so that's going to be good fun so it's going to be a run with the, the mattress folded in half and then a, a run for each half of the base because uh, you know otherwise I'm going to really struggle so you can pay 25 quid for it or something like that it's got it's supposed to have a fairly firm mattress on it but I ain't bothered you know it's just for one of those weeks a year when we just have family to stay or whatever, you know. So uh, that's that sorted. But uh, yeah, I've got to go and pick that up tomorrow night. And like I say, it'll have to be done in three parts. Not unless anybody wants to come and help me, you're more than welcome. If you've got a van or something like that, or a big vehicle. I mean, 
used to be a that used to be a, a one run job for me because I used to drive around in a, a Citroen Synergy people carrier. Uh, what happened to that one? Did it get written off? Yeah, it did. Yeah, after I uh, went off ill for a long time from the family business. Uh, Obviously, the vehicle was owned by the family business, and uh, I mean, it done a lot of mileage at that vehicle. But uh, it used to get used for working away and stuff like that, of course, because you could fit all the ladders in and a few blokes, like you know, it was like having a small van. And uh, I remember for a while, actually, we still had the seats kicking around for it because uh, half the seats were out at the time. But my brother had taken it. Uh, North with uh, one of the lads and a load of tools in, and they were coming back down the A1 at whatever it was in the morning. You know, because we usually travel through the night. It had been about three in the morning, maybe or something like that. And a bloody horse bolted out across the A1 on, on him, like, and you know, he was doing like 70 mile an hour or whatever it was, and straight into this horse. So you know, that wrote that off. I used to love stuff like that. I don't know whether it's... It's all the... I think it's the juice off the cherry trees at the minute. Because of course they they swell and can sort of like pop the juice a bit in the heat. And also you get uh, vermin up the trees. But that side of my car is absolutely bladdered in it at the minute. The passenger side where it's under the trees like. And I get it on the windscreen as well. And it's... Oh, it's just a pain in the backside because it just makes a right sticky mess. And until the trees are finished, I'm not going to spend money on or time on bloody getting it all clean because it'll just be the same again the following day. So, so anyway, um, I'm about hurt now. And uh, like I say, that's it for the day. I'm going to go and edit this. Well, actually, I've got to clean my kitchen up first from uh, the aftermath of tea. Although it's not that much because I've already done most of it. And I, I just put it in the dishwasher anyway and clean all my sides down. Uh, and then I'll put my wheelie bin out. And then that is it for the night. And I can just uh, edit this, upload it, and sit and watch some uh, YouTube myself. So, uh, thanks very much for uh, taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, watch my vlog, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. Take care. See you guys.